Hi, this is Billy Jo. So, this pick a card reading is about unmasking his true feelings. Do you know lots of times when we're seeing someone or dating someone, or even when we're talking to them, it hasn't really maybe gone, you know, further yet. It doesn't really matter what stage or development in the relationship you are. Sometimes you're like, hmm. I wonder if what he's telling me, what he's expressing towards me, you know, what I'm seeing is actually how he really feels. So we're going to take a look at that and also try and see if we can get a message from his higher self as well. Um, before I do get started, I'm going to show you these. Again, As if you watch some of my other readings, you've already seen that me and my friend Brittany from Cancer and Clairvoyant is promoting these. Um, there's a link down in the description box to where you can get them free. It's a set of three stones, and it comes in a cute little drawstring bag. It is an amethyst, a rose quartz, and a lapis lazuli. They are free. However, you do have to pay shipping and handling. I just dropped one. You do have to pay. I, I'm going to stress that again. You do have to pay shipping and handling. And it's for U.S. residents only. So, also, I am so excited. Um, I started, I got all my stuff ready for my Patreon page. So, I'm really excited and hoping to see y'all become patrons. I have a lot that I'm going to offer that's not going to be on YouTube. You'll also get early access to the videos on YouTube. Like, if you just can't wait to see, you know, the other pick of cards. Oh my God, what is Blue Jay going to upload next? Guess what? You'll get it early on Patreon. Also is going to be the astrological, monthly astrological reads is going to be on Patreon. The 18 and older sexual erotic pick of cards are going to be on Patreon. As well as those of you who are, are on the Twin Flame Soulmate Journey on that life path, that mission. I will have the updates, energy updates for those, for your masculine and your feminine. And if you do choose to pick the third highest uh, tier, then um, those people get, um, once a month, get a personal reading. So, now, if you want a personal reading from me, all the information is down in the description box, along with my email that you can reach me at and how to make payments. My payments are increasing in January. Um, probably on the description box is, it's already listed in the description box. But as long as you um, pay and schedule for your reading by midnight Central Standard Time um, on December 31st, I will honor the 2019 prices. Now, for your pick of cards, pile one for unmasking his true feelings is with this cherry quartz. Pile two is with the citrine. And pile three is with this tiger's eye. My nails are done in tiger's eye as well. I love that. <laughs> okay, so... Without waiting any further, I'm going to go ahead and get these started. So, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified of future uploads. Now, for those of you that picked option one with this beautiful cherry quartz, is that not beautiful? I love those. They're so pretty. So, let's unmask his true feelings. These are cards that I made myself. I'm just going to set them aside and use them as um, his higher self message. So, what what does he what does his mask look like? Let's see what he's saying to you, or um, what he's expressing to you. So, we have the King of Cups. Ooh. About, if you look at this card, it looks like, you know, he's smelling that romantic aroma, right? 
Oh la la. So this is a man who is poetic and romantic and gentle and really, you know, up about your feelings and how you're feeling and how you're going. And, you know, just, I mean, just look at him smelling that, that beautiful aroma, right? And you have the Nine of Swords. So in this deck, the Nine of Swords has to do with spirituality. And, but in the regular Tarot, Nine of Swords is like, um, usually depicts someone who's lost sleep. Um, but since in this deck, it stands for st strong spirituality, uh, third eye, I'm going to say what I'm feeling is that He's showing you this loving, romantic side that really, it really clicks with him that this is a soul connection, a soul journey. Or you may have said something like, there's just something there I can't explain. Like, why does it just feel like I've known you forever, right? <laughs> and Seven of Coins. So that's upward momentum. So he just, you know, well, how he his mask looks very wonderful. It looks like those that picked this pile that this is going to resonate with. Um, and do remember, this is a collective reading. So you're going to know right away if this is going to resonate with you. Because the mask that he's showing you is someone who's romantic and um, someone who's, you know, going to see this as a relationship that's going to be lifelong um nothing but upward mobility wanting to always go to the next step you know this is someone who's planning a future with you now let's see how he really feels let's take this mask off okay so we have oh we have that ace of shells so he really does love you you know that's the ace of shells that's you know that's a new beginnings those beginnings are stirring up in him we have the eight of gems perfectionalism um the thing about the eight of gems also you know it's like he wants to do everything right for you because he does love you he wants to make sure everything is perfect we have the queen of roses and you know it says the leader but the thing about the queen of roses is She's so beautiful, and she's got those beautiful, loving blossoms around her. She's got these um, diamonds. These They're actually webs. And so you're in his inner cir circle. You are, he, it's like he's got you caught in his web, and he wants to keep you there. He wants to keep it blossoming, okay? We have new life, and that just tells me that, especially next, you have peace, so this tell me that um, he wants to offer that next level commitment. He wants to move this relationship to the next level. You know, here she's she's hatching and awaking. Maybe you know you've stirred. It does have Ace of Shells here for love. So maybe you've opened up his heart. You know, maybe you've you know helped him blossom into this loving relationship. You know, this egg. You know, and there's an egg in this one, too, where she's cracked open. This one, it's still, it's still closed. But, you know, you have the dove. You know, this is a pure love. It's a pure love. And then you have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So, to him, this is a soul connection. He recognizes that you're in his life for a purpose. That, and that purpose is for love. And let's see what his messages are for you. We have, I am losing sleep with thoughts of you. Oh, that's funny because you do have the nine of swords here, which is talks about losing sleep in the regular tarot. So yeah, possibly he probably is staying up at night, excited about this relationship. Maybe staying up night, you know, um, yanking on that noodle. <laughs> Because he's thinking about you, girl. <laughs> and then we have, why would you want me? You deserve so much better than me. Yeah, he's got you on that pedestal, honey. He he looks at you 
um, like you are that sweet aroma. So this is wonderful. I love the way his mask came off. So if this resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and get moved on to those that picked pile number two. Hi, y'all that picked pile number two with this beautiful citrine. So let's look and unmask his true feelings. So I'm going to take these off right fast. These are ones I just kind of created myself. And the first thing we're going to look at is what does he show you? What does he say to you? What does he express to you? What is it? What is it? Let's look at what his mask looks like. Okay. So we have the Queen of Coins. This is someone who is, the Queen of Coins is often someone who's generous, someone who is um, very giving, very prosperous, um, very sturdy and stable. We have the Four of Coins. Um, but as far as emotions, doesn't really show you any emotions. Um, probably I'm getting a sense of, uh, very proud of their coin. Very, uh, this is like a hoarding type of energy. You know, the coin is generous, but the four is hoarding. So it kind of contradicts each other. Probably helps out with, um, whatever he wants to help. If he sees it as a generous, as a good cause, he may be generous. But... Um, there's just like, it's a conflicting energy here, his mask. So this person may show you being generous towards you one minute and the next minute just kind of, you know, um, being offstandish, not really showing you much attention, not expressing themselves, just kind of maybe like, mm, I don't really feel like going out tonight and just kind of leave you hanging. And then you also have the nine of coins. So nine of coins has to do with independence, you know? Um, so yeah, this person shows you that they like their independence. They like, um, you know, the money they've earned. They, they've did it themselves. They, if they want to share it, they will. If they don't want to, they won't. And that goes with their heart as well. So let's look what's underneath the mask. Let's look at what their true feelings are because the mask is kind of ugly. <laughs> so we have number 21 the world is his consummation now the thing about the world is the it's the ending of cycles and beginning of new cycles so some kind of cycle or behavior has ended and a new one is beginning so it's like and the, you see the angel has this trumpet so they may not, it's not up to her mouth. So I'm sensing that they may not have voiced these changes that they're feeling right now. We have the Ten of Wings. It says difficulty. Um, the thing about the Tens are, is that Tens are endings as well. So the Wings has to do with swords, air energy. And, um, you know, it's like that stabbed in the back anxiety stress, difficulty. So you have two cards here in an ending of cycle. So they're ending any difficulty they have. And five of Jim's anxiety. So how they truly feel, the reason why they're off standish is because if you look closely, they're really nervous about approaching you. Their their feelings about you, that you make them feel anxious. You make them feel nervous. Like, I, I have nervous butterflies in my stomach. I'm just feeling all jittery. Just feeling this energy right now. And that's what you do to this person. You make them jittery and nervous. And the only way they can they feel like they're not making a fool out of themselves is if they have this mask of, of indifference. You also have regeneration. So this is regeneration has to do with like, um, when I see this card, it makes me think of like when California, they have the fires 
or the Amazon, wherever you're at, and there's there's these massive, horrible, all the awful fires. But then after the fires, new life emerges. You know, life will always find a way to reemerge. And this is just telling me that this cycle of them being jittery and nervous and feeling like they can't talk to you, it, it's coming to an end. And you see there's greener here. There's some growth here. He's growing into the acceptance of being able to speak to you. He's going to be, yo, yes, yes. Because the next card is message in a bottle. Yes, he's he's building up the nerve he may have been through some bullshit in the past he may have been burned and he's he's but he's getting to that cycle of pain is ending and he's about to um those that pick this pile that it resonates with he is about to send you a message um that may be text message it's a message in a bottle so i'm not seeing the angel putting her horn to her lips yet so they're not going to actually speak it to you they're probably going to send an email or a letter, or a text. They may comment on your social media, something like that. We have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and experiences. Um, I'm sorry, challenges. Um, I don't even know why experiences came out of my mouth. Um, but that may be what they're wanting to say. You know, I really feel this person more judges themselves, not you. And they're recognizing that they had to go through the fire to find the blossom. You know, sometimes you have to go through hell. Sometimes you have to be with a demon. You know, some of us, we know what that's like. And then when we find actual love, we find that blossom, we find that new love, that regeneration. We realize that we had to go through that to be able to appreciate it. Then the last card, you had change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So, yeah, he's getting ready to um, to make a change, to take that mask off, you know, express how he truly feels. Let's see what his messages are. You had three of them. It says, I want to protect and provide for you. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, that may be, you know, why he's building up his coins says, I am insecure. Well, we pretty much established that Mr. needs to be, you know, regenerated. And please wait for me. Oh, that's why he's getting in a hurry to speak up. He's, go he's worried that he's going to lose you if he doesn't say something soon. So, I hope that resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm moving on to those that picked Pile 3. Hello, y'all that picked Pile 3. Those that picked the Tiger's Eye. So, we're going to look at your person's unmasking his true feelings. Do understand that even when I read as I'm reading for his feelings, if you're a man watching or another woman watching and your person is a female or a divine feminine, just take it how it resonates. I just read it like, that's just how I read it. Okay, so... Let's see here. Put these aside. These are his messages. First thing I'm going to look at is what does his mask look like? What is that sparkly, colorful thing that he wears? What does he say to you? What does he show to you? So we have the star. Oh, the thing about the star card is, is that to me, this is the card that says you are the light in the darkness. You're the one that gives them hope. You're the one that when everything else is bleak in the world and their life around them, they see you and it just makes them feel warm and tingly inside. We have the magician. Think about the magician. You have the infinity sign on there. They want you forever. You know, the magician is a master manifester. He is a creator of his own reality. And it's like these two together, I'm hearing, you give him the strength to, to better himself, to better his life. We have the five of wands. Oh, yes, because the five of wands, 
that has to do with, you know, conflict and chaos. So it's like no matter what the battles are around them, whatever they're facing in their life, you make them stronger because you, you know, you give them that hope. You know, you're that wish upon a star. You know, they want to be with you so bad that they're trying to do whatever it takes, manifest whatever it takes to get out of this, this chaotic situation they're in, whatever it may be to be with you. You are their dream come true. See how she's got this, these waters you are nourishing him with the waters of love. That is so sappy, and I don't know why I heard that, but we're going to carry on. So what does he, <laughs> what is his, what does he actually look at? Like, if we take that mask off, I mean, does he really mean that? You know, let's just really see what's underneath the mask. So you have the Ace of Gems for reward. Think about the Ace of Gems. All Aces are new beginnings. And Gems has to do with, you know, earth energy, stable, stability, being grounded. Okay. So he wants a new beginning in the actual 3D world. You know, he wants a new beginning with you. Nine of Shells. That's wish fulfillment. That's wishes coming true. You know, especially when you got the star card in the same reading. Oh, wow. Prince of Roses, the mover. So, you know, the thing about the Prince of Roses is that they want to create, they're creative and they want to make things happen. You know, you stir his passions. You know, you ignite that fire in him that makes him want to get shit rolling you know he wants to find this forever after with you so pretty much his mask matches his true feelings you have loyal heart i mean that speaks for itself this is one of my favorite cards i love how the two owls are looking at each other it's just beautiful and the fates so, they see that y'all are destined to be together. You know, the thing about it in this card, she has these stars. Spirit just pointed this out to me. <laughs> she has these stars, right? And what are you? You're his star. Oh, that's so beautiful. And then you have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So, I mean, he sees you as his person. I, I don't know how... I can say it any better. Let's see what he has to say. I love your curve. <laughs> I love your curves, your plump places. Okay. Squishy, squishy likes that. My <laughs> the visuals I'm getting. No, no, I don't want to see that. My thoughts of you have turned obsessive. Okay, so he thinks about, he like, like can't stop thinking about you all the time. Oh shit, look at this next one. I'm going to strip you naked and rip your panties off. Okay, I, I think that's enough for y'all pile three. You need to quit being so naughty. So, okay, I hope you have a nice night. Go use his wand here and have little magic sticks and have fun. Good night.